The year is Life is not good. The last few Hershes has absolutely decimated your civilization. Sure, you managed to kill all of them up to this point, but nothing can quite prepare you for your endgame boss, the final Hersher. This was what the previous era had to face. They're better than something like Larry, what the hell is the Larry, you oh, Larry. It was bad. Real bad. In their final battle, two out of the eight people sent dies pretty much immediately and was probably followed by many more. The trump card weapon supposed to cripple the Hersher proves no match for it and just destroyed itself. The battle went so horribly that they decided to run away after Kevin managed to stun the Hersher for quite a while. They have these cryopods that were for the survivors to sleep through all their problems. While all the gadgets like the terraforming satellite decontaminates the earth after it would have been destroyed by the Hersher. Why the Hersher didn't just search out and destroy these gadgets to ensure that the humans are screwed are a mystery. Maybe the Hersher doesn't give enough shit or just chalked it up as some funny looking toys. So the survivors gathered to hibernate before the world ends, and among them was Eden. But unlike most others, she refused to hibernate, deciding to go down along with her era, which begs the question, why? Eden was a popular idol prior to joining Moth. It was until the Honkai came in like a sledgehammer. It happened in a concert where a random audience member started incinerating people attending the event. Eden would probably have died if not for Hua. Now Eden, she has had her career taken away by the event and she would spend her time working in disaster relief until she decided to join Moth, later getting the Mantis treatment. And you see, this procedure is quite risky because not everyone will come out of it alive. So this was a big decision for Eden, a form of bigger commitment. Eden would be known as the tailor of the group making cool outfits for her colleagues, though you might feel the need to question her design senses, if you know what I mean. <laughs> She's also really good friends with Alicia. And I say good friends because it's completely normal to enjoy the moonlight together with your friend laying on their lap, or while borderline flirting with each other. She's quite a sugar mummy, providing the most funds for the resident engineer who got her budget slashed after failing to meet the expectation of management. She often gives away random trinkets to her friends whenever she feels like it. Most of the time it's because she couldn't make use of it herself, like the golden courtyard where it would be used for the foundation of the Elysian realm after it was given to Mobius. To understand why Eden chose to go down with her era, like the captain going down with the ship, it was for the same reason just like the captain who in a way represents the ship. Even after the event that brought down her career, she is still an idol who represents hope in her era struggle against the Honkai through her singing, passively increasing morale, and actively with herself taking up arms. The twin pistol divine key weapon made from the 9th Persia was often seen in her hands as she is the only person that can release its full potential. So when her era is coming to an end, it's to her character that lives and dies by her era when she decides to sing until her end, at least as far as the symbolic view goes. Eden's decision to commit not live anymore wasn't just a spur of the moment decision, as there were signs that she has prepared for the occasion. For example, passing the responsibility of speeding up the current era tech tree to Fuhua, so she didn't need to do it. It's not quite clear when she got this idea, but from her sim interactions, there's a theme that often pops up in the conversation, the theme of loss, from her career to those who she knew and cared about. There's this one specifically aimed at Alicia, which you know, yeah, well it would be cool and would debatably be better to see Eden continue on into the current era. Her decision was one that came from a person who lost the things they were fighting for. And so we have her symbolic end as the figure who went down along with the legacy of her era. But that is second to the fact that it doesn't matter if they're dead or alive because you can still play as them when the next update drops in what day I don't know I've been slacking way too much in Minecraft.